Adrax Agatone, serves as captain of the Salamander's Third Company during the era Indomitus. Records of Agatone's service to the Pyra class of the chapter tell of his deeds as a curt, stoic, and distant sergeant to the Third Company. Accompanying his men to the world of Scoria, Adrax would bear witness to the battles waged against the traitor legion of the Iron Warriors, Dragon Warriors Renegade Chapter, and Orc Xenos. Losing both captains Kotan Kadai and Nakeln of the Salamanders during the campaign, as the third most senior officer of the company, command would fall to Agatone. Confiding with his company chaplain in his doubt to fulfill the legacy of his predecessors, Agatone would overcome his feelings of inadequacy. Surviving the battle against his many foes, Agatone's men would be sought by Drukhari Cabals, hell-bent on capturing and torturing the valiant sons of Nocturne. With the aid of Vulcan Hestan, Agatone's men would rout the Dark Eldar, and after replenishing their numbers, add their might to the Dragon War of Nocturne. The former Salamander's librarian, Nihilan, would lead an army of tens of thousands of Xenos, mercenaries, and traitor space marines to besiege Nocturne, attempting to retrieve the Salamander's artifact, the Tome of Fire, from the depths of Mount Deathfire. Leading the Pyro class in the defense of their homeworld, Agatone's men would succeed in their protection of the writings of their Primarch, yet incur massive casualties. Subsequently aiding in the Third War for Armageddon against the onslaught of the Orc Xenos, Agatone would charge into battle and earn glory for his chapter as the War for Armageddon would be won in the name of the Imperium. Charged with the upkeep of the chapter's munitions as master of the arsenal of the Salamanders, Agatone shoulders a great burden in enabling the 18th to take to the field with efficiency. Undergoing the surgeries to ascend to the stature of the Primaris Marines, Agatone would endure the Rubicon Primaris and be reborn, stronger, faster, and deadlier than ever in his persecution of the enemies of the Imperium. Removing his scars won in battle during the process with new, smooth skin tissue, Adrax has resolved to earn his marks of battle honor anew with his ascension from a firstborn Astartes. Wielding the Thunderhammer, Malleus Noctum, and Handflamer, Drakis, forged by his own hands, the Hammer of Nocturne leads his men at the vanguard of the chapter's most hazardous of campaigns. Said to exhibit his Primarch's virtuous nature more than any of his battle brothers, the ever pragmatic and considerate captain of the Third Company, regardless of such applauded, will undertake any act of cruelty should it achieve his chapter's goals. Adhering to the Salamander's creed of achieving the utmost good for the Imperium, Agatone shows disdain for any who twist moral virtue in the name of heretical ideals. Unswayable in devotion to his cause, Agatone persecutes the chapter's most heinous campaigns without remorse, safe in the knowledge that his actions are vindicated by the noble outcome they shall achieve. Driven by his moral certitude, Adrax Agatone shall never allow for his men to be the thralls of tyrants or submit to the manipulations of the ruinous powers. His bloodbaths and campaigns of purging flame, cleansing the galaxy from corruption and heresy.